Hey guys, it's Troy Francis coming at you with another video. I'm in Soho in London and I want to talk about why guys should always pay for and arrange dates. Okay, guys should always pay for and arrange dates with women. Certainly, 100% in the early stages of dating. Uh, later on, if she offers and she's like, hey, listen, I can sort this out tonight or whatever. Okay, fine, that's a slightly different conversation, but certainly in the early stages and, and really, for the majority of the time throughout your, your relationship, you need to be the one who's paying when you go out and you need to be the one who is organizing things as well, okay? Don't leave it to your girlfriends to book the tickets. Don't leave it to your girlfriends to book the restaurant, okay? Put her credit card details in, all that kind of stuff. It's low value, all right? You're a chump, you're a buffoon, okay? Don't do it, right? A high value man would not do that, okay? You need to be the one who, for the most part, selects where you're gonna go. You propose the date ideas. You're the one who puts his credit card down. You're the one who pays at the end, all right? Now, people are gonna be saying, well, that's simping, or it's like sugar daddy behavior, blah, blah, blah. It isn't, it isn't, because for a start, and look, before you guys are intimate, really, the dates shouldn't be meals and dinners and expensive things like that anyway. It should be a couple of drinks, okay? And yes, you absolutely should put your hand in your pocket to pay for those drinks, even if the date goes badly, right? So my girlfriend was telling me a story, and I've heard stories like this before online, to be honest, where a guy went out with this, this girl and, you know, I think she knew. The, the date didn't go his way, you know, it was, it was unsatisfactory from his point of view. He paid, and then he actually uh, messaged her the next day and said, hey, listen, can you, can you um, Venmo me the 50% for the drinks last night, right? Which obviously she didn't take very kindly to. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's kind of pathetic. It's just low value, pathetic behavior, right? You should, you should have the wherewithal, you should have the financial stability, the financial acumen, that even if, the day doesn't go well. Even if she goes to you, you pay for a few fucking drinks. So what? Okay, right? It, it, it's it's part of the cost of entry. It's part. It's the cost of playing the game. Okay, it, it like you shouldn't. <sighs> I mean, it's, I guess it's quite funny, but I mean, you shouldn't be messaging a woman the next day after she's kind of blown you out or whatever happens and say, oh, you know, can you pay for half of it? I mean, it's, it's just pathetic and it's ridiculous. But I mean, again, what you actually want to be doing is saying, hey, listen, I know this cool cocktail bar. Wednesday, 8 p.m., question mark. She's like, yeah, yeah, I can, that's cool. I'll see you there. Great. You go to the bar, you've booked it. If, the, if you have to book a table, you're the one doing the booking, okay? And then, you're the one who pays at the end. So if she's like, oh, we go 50-50, no, I'm gonna pay, okay? Oh, well, I can get this one and then you can get the other one. No, I'm gonna pay, okay? I'm gonna get this, right? And really, that should set the tone for your relationship. So for the most part, you should be paying for stuff, okay? Now again, you know, if she sort of, you know, you guys start seeing each other, your boyfriend and girlfriend, she's like, oh, listen, I, I, I can sort this out. I wanna take you somewhere, I wanna do something for you. Okay, that's nice, right? So that's fine. But in the early stages, and really for the most part, you should be the one who's doing the, the, the arranging and the paying, okay? Now, people, as I said, are gonna say this is simping and it's like, whatever. It, it, it really isn't. It's just the traditional masculine role, okay? There's a disconnect, it seems to me, online between people who are banging on the whole time about, oh, you know, traditional masculinity, blah, blah, blah. And then they get butt hurt about this idea that the guy should pay. The guy should pay because it should be a fucking drop in the ocean for you where, you know, if you're gonna take her for some dinner or you're gonna take her for some fucking drinks, right? It should be a drop in the ocean, okay? And if it isn't, then you need to sort your finances out, okay? If it isn't a drop in the ocean for you, then you've got bigger problems than dating. You need to sort your money out, right? Because what she's looking for is a guy, like we're not talking, we're not talk, I'm not talking about buying a handbag. I'm not talking about buying her a 10K handbag or buying her a car or buying a computer or something like that. That's, that's different. We're talking about things like, like drinks, which shouldn't be, you shouldn't worry about at all. Um, maybe coffees, okay, don't worry about that at all. Dinners, a bit more expensive, but still, you should have the wherewithal to be able to finance that, and if things fuck up in the relationship, or she goes to you, or she doesn't call you back, you're not gonna get butthurt about it, right? Because you could always make more money, okay? And again, you know, how can you be an attractive man, and then you're getting butthurt about a fucking bill for drinks? I mean, what kind of buffoon are you? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pathetic behavior, right? So you want to be the one who's taking control of this and you want to be the one who's paying for these things, okay? It's not to try to buy her, right? This is, and this is the key thing, right? You've got to think about, okay, so where is this coming from? It's not coming from a space of, I'm going to try and impress you, okay? I'm going to buy you these drinks because I think it's going to impress you or I'm going to take you to this restaurant 
because I think it's gonna impress you, okay? It's not from that point of view. You should be doing the things that you wanna do, all right? So if I go on a date, right, I'm gonna select a restaurant because, you know, I wanna go there. Now, I, I hope that she's gonna like it as well. She probably will, but I'm gonna select it because I wanna go there, okay? I'm gonna say, right, let's go for drinks or let's go to this thing, let's go to this event, let's go to see this performance because I'm gonna enjoy it, okay? I'm also gonna pick up the bill, but she's coming along for the ride, okay? She's coming into my life and enjoying some of my life. Now, obviously, if she says, well, I'm not sure about this place, what about that place? That's okay as well. I'll have a look and, you know, we can talk about it, that's fine. But I'm certainly gonna be the one who's proposing the venues and the, the activities, and I'm also gonna be the one who's picking up the tab. And, and it just seems to me a no-brainer, right? I mean, like, it's not about being a provider, it's not about being a beta chump or simp or whatever, right? It's just about being a fucking man, okay? And, you know, she's gonna be, looking for a guy like she's not i mean come on if you live in new york miami london paris um mexico city i don't know man any any, any major international hub right um women are or top tier women are looking for guys who 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 just don't have a problem with this stuff okay because it's sweating the small stuff right i mean this dude who who asked the girl to Venmo him for drinks. I mean, come on. I mean, how much did the drinks cost? Even if the drinks got what, $100? I mean, come on, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, it's just, it's, it's pathetic. It's low value behavior, okay? Um, you need to be the one who's paying and you need to be the one who's, who's doing the organizing and proposing the dates and, and sorting it out and booking the venues and all this kind of stuff yourself, right? It's not a fucking big deal, all right? Just man up and grow the hell up, all right? Um, anyway. I don't know what you think. Maybe you think I've got off on one here and I'm wrong. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you are interested in coaching in this area of your life, then um, drop me an email, troy at realtroyfrancis.com. Our course, The Edge, is open at the moment for new enrollments. That's the course I'm doing with James Tusk and Les Thomas. We have an event coming up in Bogota, Colombia in October. Okay, we've got a four day bootcamp coming up 16th to the 20th of October. You can join us there, still open, still a couple of places left. So drop me an email, troy at realtroyfrancis.com if you're interested in that and we'll make it happen. See you guys again very soon, bye-bye.